Mm. We had an overload of Seville oranges on the tree, so now I decided to make marmalade following Granny's recipe. Never made it before. Fingers crossed. Sorry about the lighting. Okay, so um, I've had my oranges on the simmer for an hour and I'm now supposedly meant to take them out. But some of them have completely gone like, which is fun. And then after this, I chop them in half, apparently take the pith out, um, and then I suppose I chop it up into lots of pieces. We shall see. Ta-da. I lied, I'm supposed to <clears throat> half some of that goodness um, because I don't need that much liquid. And then I put the oranges back in there and then put the sugar in and then it gets all marmalade -y. So I'm taking out a liter and a little bit of this yummy stuff. Ooh. And then it says that I chucked this, but that's perfectly good orange dirt. The next bit is to chop them in half and take them out, but they're ever so slightly too hot right now and my fingers are slightly burning. <sighs> Come on, the Instagrammers want to be entertained. No, that's too hot. I'm going to wait a bit. Sorry, guys. I did find something I could do. It says in the recipe that I needed a muslin bag, but I didn't have a muslin bag, so I've just ripped a tea towel in half. And in fact, I could actually do it again to create my own one, since I'll probably be making this recipe. Yeah. Haha. -ha. Um, so basically, after that, we chop the tomatoes in half and I've just scooped the inside out and then it goes straight into the muslin bag and then you put the muslin bag back into the pan with all the sugar and the oranges I presume that's to keep all the flavor going um so that it stays nice and juicy but yeah I'll now move on to my next one they've cooled down a bit more now which is good so all of this is gonna go straight straight in there see so as you can see that's all the pulp in the bag scratched out from all of these and then I'm just gonna lift all the corners I presume that seems like that's quite a lot of fabric we'll see now onto the part where I get to chop my half oranges into as thin a slice as I fancy. I've never done this before, but I have eaten a lot of marmalade. So I reckon if I do them like this, what do you think, guys? Maybe that's even too big. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, cool. Um, my gran makes the best marmalade in the world, so I'm hoping that I'll do her proud. Ooh. All right, sorry that took a while. Right, all done. Ta-da! Now this is going in here. Oh, that's not working. Converted it from an English recipe into an American recipe. So, because I don't have a weighing scale here yet. Ooh, I need to get that, but I do have cups. Um, and I'm doing six and a half cups of sugar. Naughty. There you go. Oh, there you go, right. So we're going. One, 
tube. Uh oh. I've done my fourth. This is my fifth. Sick. It's a lot of sugar. But it is marmalade, I suppose. I want half. This is being brought to the boil. It's got all the sugar and all the oranges and the pulp bag in there. Um, and I bring it to a rolling boil, which sounds fun. I'm gonna turn it up a bit more so it starts rattling. I wish more had happened to the marmalade since last time, but it's just boiling. I think I did everything right. The recipe says, bring the marmalade to a rolling boil. It's rolling. I just tasted it and it tasted pretty good. Um, I'm using Seville oranges, which are usually quite tart and quite bitter, which is why we ended up using so much sugar. Um, but the rind isn't quite sweet enough yet. Um, and that's the whole point of the marmalade is that you have rind in there. So. I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer, but it's tasting pretty good. I'm quite happy. And the flake test is essentially when you pick up some of the mixture on the spoon and then you let it cool for a second and if it pours and it clumps together and it doesn't drizzle like a liquid, then it's ready. Um, now I just need to fill up all these other jars. I made marmalade! It's hot, but I still made it. <laughs>